Hello everybody and welcome back to Stream City. In this video, I will show you step by step at how I finally managed to place every single city related build that I have access to in Java Edition into the new and improved Stream City. I want you to take a good look at what Stream City looks like right now because it is going to look drastically different by the end of the video. By the way, channel members are actually able to download Stream City, Java Edition only, but a little bit more about that later. Let's start from the beginning. So the first thing that I want to do is place my construction site. This is almost going to be a little barrier between the suburbs and the new district of the city that I'm adding. I actually want to add kind of a small town to my city. It's still a part of the city, it's not like its own separate thing, but that's sort of the vibe that I'm looking for. I really like the construction site. I would actually like to have more of those in a bit of a different variety, so that's something to think about for the future. In the new district of Stream City, I'm thinking, as I said, a small, quiet town sort of area. So, its own supermarket. We're going for Tesco's here just because it's a nice, complete package. We have the supermarket, a garage, and a car wash all built into one. A small school. That's actually South Park Elementary. I don't know if you guys recognize it. But on the high street, we have a bar. We have a gym. I'll add some sort of fast food place. We have a library next to the school. I'm realizing that I've actually reused that library, so it's probably time that I either alter that one or make a new one. We have Whataburger as well, although I don't think I end up keeping this in here because it just it doesn't really fit the vibe. Vibe. Denny's on the other hand I think kind of does I don't know why there's a difference in my mind but we're kind of laying this out now you can see how this is amended onto the city and we have a flower shop and we also have a small bookstore as well I'm opting for those rather than Whataburger and I'll also place a coffee shop on the corner as well I think that that's a nice complete little package books flowers gym bar breakfast coffee what more could you possibly want? I'm also experimenting with a bit of street shapage here as well. So I want this to kind of like lead into these suburbs. I only end up placing three houses in the end and the houses are only separated with a strip of trees as you will see very soon. And ultimately these suburbs will kind of expand around and back the school but I want to make some different houses, I don't want to just keep reusing the same ones, so I don't really want to use the same house in more than just like one or two streets. And just around this, as I said, I'm kind of going for a bit of a better feel, so I'm just adding some trees, adding a bit of nature. Anywhere around this area, I'm kind of completing by making pavements roads, car parking spaces where necessary. I don't want any holes in the city anymore. I want to really clean everywhere up as I do feel as though it is quite a distraction as you're walking around the city trying to get immersed and then suddenly you just see big gaping holes and giant rows of colourful concrete hanging off of buildings. It's a bit jarring. Also, by the way, you'll have to excuse my frantic nature of building. I really do bounce back between a lot of different projects as I work through Stream City. I think it's a little bit of ADHD, but what can you do? You can see me just adding a little bit of a park playground area to the back of the South Park Elementary, and then after that I decided it'd be a great idea to bounce to a completely different part of the city and introduce a hospital. So. The hospital is actually going to go behind where the bowling alley is. This central part of the city is actually going to get completely restructured. We are going to remove the park a little bit later on. We are going to install Avengers Tower, aka TSMC Tower, in the center. And we'll also add some more important buildings as well. But, next to the bowling alley, I think an arcade is in order. And we can also turn the car parking area that is now kind of beset on all sides by the suburbs and all of these fun areas. We are go just going to turn this area into a car park. So kind of a nice structured car park. It'll have some barriers. It'll have a wall, some ticket machines. It looks nice and actually purposeful now rather than just like an empty strip of land.
Behind the Simpsons house, which is also now behind the arcade, I'm thinking a multi-story car park. This also works well with the hospital, and of course, sort of a good thing to have in a city centre, just a giant multi-level car park which also leads us on to the next part. So other than cleaning up the streets and the pavements, I bounce straight back to the centre part of the city and we are adding a town hall and of course a courthouse as I am the law. The natural progression is to head straight over to the retail park. This is a really fun part of the city that gets worked on quite a lot in this video. There's a lot of cool stuff here, a soft play centre, a Toys R Us, rest in peace, I hope you come back. We also have a trampoline park, some fast food, we have a couple of classics, KFC and Burger King, and ultimately we'll also have a couple of other cool builds here as well. As I was working on my retail park, I kind of realised that the area behind the park is kind of like a dumping ground for miscellaneous builds that I don't really know where to put. So, I refined that area by adding my BMW dealership, and that actually adds a bit of cohesion with my car dealership and also my bike dealership. Oh, by the way, I also at this point in time decided to bounce to the complete, and I do mean complete opposite end of my city, to place my mall. Which, after doing so, I figured, huh, maybe it's time to go back again. And added to my retail park is, of course, IKEA right next to Toys R Us. After placing IKEA, I kind of came to the realisation that I had gotten as far as I possibly could with all of the builds that existed in Stream City at this moment in time. Which gives us one option. Locate every single city build that I have access to on Java Edition and place them in Stream City. This is no easy task as I build in a bunch of different worlds in random places and it's, it's just a complete mess so finding the stuff in the first place can prove difficult. However, I did manage to find, I would say, some of my city builds and I chunked them all together in this rather pleasing assembly. And from here, I realised that I opened myself up to a whole new world of building. I just want to take this time to remind you that if you are a channel member, you have the option of downloading Stream City. It is Java Edition only, it will be in the exact condition that you see it at the end of this video, and you will find a download link in the community tab, assuming that you are indeed a channel member. Wait one second, when did I place my bus station? Did I miss the footage where I did that? You know what, it actually doesn't matter, I'm really excited about this part of my city in particular because it bridges the gap in my mind between the city centre and the new, smaller, more quiet part of the city that I've just been working on. We have the bus station as a central hub, on the side of it we have a brand new, really detailed mall, we have a football stadium, of course we have the hospital attached attached to it. It's such a perfect little chunk of buildery that I can't help but get excited about it. So, in amongst all of this, I realised that I can actually bridge the gap rather easily by making a couple of streets. So, one street next to the hospital will have a hotel, a pharmacy, a clove shop and a bakery, of course, all natural builds that go together. And then behind Tesco, we have a McDonald's, a Samsung store and, of course, a modern Starbucks. Sometimes blending all of these streets in together can be difficult as well, or at least blending them together in such a way that it looks natural. A good a good way of doing this, I think, is adding either car parking spaces, nature, or smaller builds to all tie things in. But I'm also realising that not every single square inch of the city has to look perfect at this moment in time. It makes sense to me that a large football stadium should probably have an equally large car park, so I added exactly that. This actually helped with the structure of this area a lot, surprisingly, as in making the road that connected everything together, it made sense to me that we could actually join these two halves of the city rather easily by simply adding another half of the street opposite the one that we had been working on. We even found a place for Primark, and in adding the road around these builds, everything joined together rather naturally. On the new street, I decided to add a pet store and an aquarium. It was at this point in time that I made a decision to add another street, the first edition of which is directly behind the library in the form of a swimming baths. Somewhere in my mind I think it made sense putting a swimming baths next to an aquarium. This left a gap in the corner in between the two that was promptly filled with an ice cream parlour. 
We also have to work on the rest of the street. In between the ice cream parlor and the aquarium, a new stand with a fountain centered in front of it and a couple of public benches as well. It's at this point that I realized that my solution for making a nice straight street actually just made things so much worse. But then I kind of realized, why was I trying to make a straight street anyway? Why not add some curves to it, make it a little bit more abstract and Honestly, I think that it looks way better for it. So I added a curved bit of road around connecting to the swimming baths and this has now turned into a really cool part of the city. I'm very happy with this area. We had two different directions that we could build in in this area, elongate the street that we had just started from the swimming baths or work on the opposite side of the aquarium pet store street. I chose the latter. I challenge you to find a better place for my radio station and modern KFC. I dare you. Continuing around the corner from this on the opposite end of our problem, I decided that I could add the original Central Park behind the school. It's a good place for it. I think they make sense. We are also adding a modern hotel behind modern KFC that is near the football stadium and simultaneously near the transportation method, which is the bus station. We have an empty spot behind the bowling alley, which I'm actually going to fill in with a modern Taco Bell and a Greg's. These all fit together rather nicely. I just have to alter the modern hotel that is in the center of Stream City a little bit first. But there's no problem here as I can extend the car park and also just change the positioning of the outdoor area. It's at this point that I challenged myself to place the builds that I was having trouble with. I really didn't know where to place my fish and chip shop and candy store. And what a better place than just outside school. Two builds that I was really struggling with the placement for, my Christmas store and my Halloween store. These are seasonal and it's kind of weird to have them in the center city. So it made sense that they kind of be on the outskirts of the smaller, what I will call the town area of Stream City. I found a good place for Aldi near the radio station. I also placed my modern cinema opposite the swimming bath. My new fire station behind my new radio station. I also just had to fix the build a little bit, it had got damaged in transit. Next to the fire station, but branching off and creating a new street, we have my brand new classic modern Burger King. That's a mouthful. And so are the burgers. Filling in the gap between the cinema and Audi, we have a subway and a Starbucks. I also found a place for my casino. It is opposite my modern hotel. It's kind of on its own at the moment, but I'm sure that I will make other builds that will integrate this better into the city at a different point in time. Swapping back over to the retail park, I am adding another swimming baths that you guys actually haven't seen onto the end. This is kind of going to stop the retail park expanding too far out in a direction until it becomes a little bit silly. But we're just adding a bit more infrastructure around here, just roads, car parking spaces. I added a modern Smiths as well. And after building all of that up, on the opposite side of the stadium, I decided to add kind of like a business district. So a bunch of skyscrapers and office buildings all built up together in one nice chunk. There was a strange gap in between Greg's, the modern hotel, and the business district that I had just mentioned. I figured that this could be filled up with a couple of random builds that needed to get added to the city. And they're not necessarily random, but they don't necessarily go together as well. I'll let you guys be the judge. We have a barber's, a Lego store, and also a milkshake store. Just a kind of interesting bunch, really. To fill in the gap in front of the town hall, we have a collection of apartment buildings or townhouses, it depends how you look at them. They needed to be recolored though. On the corner on the end of them, I thought that a 7-Eleven would go splendidly. This was also a great opportunity to add a coffee stand. All of these builds actually bridged the gap between the northern end of Stream City and the northeast end of Stream City. There was also a gap between the business district and the stadium, which I decided to occupy with a couple of hotels and another miscellaneous office building. I also decided to add a Krispy Kreme donut stand in the courtyard of all of these buildings. I decided to reinforce the business district with a couple of more office buildings. 
It's at this point in time that I actually had a good idea of where to place two builds I was really struggling with. One, my honey farm. It seemed to make sense to attach it to my holiday park. Why not? And also, my massive circus tent. This makes sense for the entertainment on site. Unfortunately, I still don't have the right place for my massive water park, but for now, it exists on the outskirts of Stream City. It does have a road leading to it though, so that's progress. I also managed to join four smaller builds together to make what I would call a really cool mini water park. We have a pool with a slide, changing rooms, and also lounge area. We have kind of like an outdoor burger bar. We have a drink stand and also an ice cream stand. What more could you need? I wasn't sure where to place my fair, so I decided to kind of adjoin it to my holiday park. It's not part of the park itself, but I figured that having it nearby wouldn't be too bad of an idea. At this point in time, it's a little bit too close to the fancy suburbs, so it will probably move in the future. On the literal opposite end of town, I kind of reached the conclusion that I didn't know what to do with my motel, prison, and also diner. These builds, in my mind, are kind of for the outskirts of a city, just on the way to a highway, or, you know, just on the outskirts of a small town, so I didn't really have anywhere for them per se. So, I made a bit of road, threw them all together, and also chucked my prison on the end. I don't want my prison in the city, I also want it on the outskirts by itself. Oh, plus I also stole Tesco's petrol station and threw it in there just because it sort of made sense. I actually thought a good idea for my new mini water park would be on my holiday site. It makes sense. We've got a farm shop, mini water park, circus tent. Perfect. I also added a giant road to my other water park and placed a couple of vehicles that I had lying about. We have an Amazon Prime delivery van and an Amazon Prime delivery truck. I'm just placing these randomly in the city for use at another time. Now, would you believe that other than a huge buildup of fast food related restaurants, we have actually placed pretty much every single build I have access to in my Java worlds. So all that is left to do for this video is to fill in all of the holes, remove all of the random debris, and that's it. And with that complete, we have this. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you in the next one.